Welcome to Finger Bones. This is a short psychological horror game made by David Zemansky, and apologies if I'm mispronouncing the name. It's also completely free, so if you'd like to play for yourself, you'll find a link in the description. And apparently this game contains some very disturbing themes, so if you're particularly prone to being disturbed, then you might want to not watch. Just a warning. <coughs> This is me from the future talking now, after having just finished this game, and I just want to reinforce what I was just mentioning about this game containing disturbing content. It really does contain some very disturbing content, so if you are particularly sensitive to uh, child abuse or rape or torture, then I would recommend staying away from this video and staying away from this game. It is seriously very, very disturbing. Okay, now back to the video. Alright, I've only played for a minute or two so far, just to get familiar with the controls of the game, so I'm going into this pretty much blind. Let's look around and see what there is to see. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Uh, that doesn't sound good. What happened in the cellar? I'm guessing I'm gonna get to find out. Looks like somebody's been playing with knives. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed. I'm enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. I'm not depressed, I'm enlightened. So they feel like, basically, it, it just makes sense to be depressed and not care? That it's not a condition, but it's just... The result of having realized that life is pointless or something? That's very, very sad. It looks like I can use this, and I think this is a keyboard. Oh, you know what? I think. Yeah, there's a flashlight over here. Let's grab that. That'll make it easier to see what this is. It's a keyboard, but I can't use it. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions, and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Well, that's just nonsense. That's... <laughs> that is just a complete non sequitur. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral. How does something being natural lead to it being moral. Where, where's the connection there? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. 
Okay, so I'm in a survival bunker. And apparently there's a door lock somewhere, and... And his daughter? His daughter's name is the, the pass. And what was her daughter's, uh, his daughter's name again? It was mentioned in this note over here, right? Started with a K? Uh, Katie or something? Yeah, it's my weekend to get Katie. Alright, so I'm gonna write that down. Otherwise I will forget. Okay, Katie. Locked. Alright, I just turn on the generator, so that should power something like the keyboard. Hello. Katie? Uh, was that, uh, you entered it correctly, or you entered it wrong? Huh. Okay. I guess I did enter it correctly. This bunker is unbelievably depressing. Just dusty and so strangely lit. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what we've is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Hmm. So, is that what's excited him so much? Is the end of the world? Pure, beautiful survival, as he puts it? Uh... Is that Katie's voice? It's locked. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the, near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. Uh, the blood? Who, whose blood? Isn't the only person down here with you, Katie? Your daughter? Did he kill his child? The tool room has been her name for years now. And I can't bring myself to change it. The tool room? So I've got a locked hatch and a locked door. Can I enter in another password up here on the keyboard?
Jesus Christ, the generator's loud. Ugh. Uh, in the store, by the way. Uh, this store actually closes down the game. Like, literally, the game shuts down. Okay, so I think I have to enter Lin, which is, I, I think, the name of your wife or ex-wife or something. Yeah, it made a noise, so I think that means it's right. I think that's what you have to enter to unlock whatever the next thing is. Yeah, I got stuck there for a bit, honestly, and I looked on the Steam forums for like, what am I missing? I'm pretty sure this isn't the end of the game. I guess you're... I mean, there's really no hint that you're supposed to use Lin's name as a password. I guess that's just for some reason because Katie's name was used as a password. I guess you're supposed to think to use other people's names. I guess. Yeah, there we go. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again, and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Hmm. So he's really, he was really excited about the end of the world and about pure survival, and not having to stay within the, the morals of normal society, I guess, but... It looks like, as food has run more scarce, he's starting to maybe miss it a bit. Or if not miss it, not enjoy what's happening now as much. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Uh... What? Um... Is he talking about his daughter? Uh... Fuck, I think he's talking ab I think he's talk talking about raping his daughter. Wow, okay, um, I wasn't quite expecting that. Don't really know what to say about that. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY, the rest of the word is missing. Oh, you know what? That's actually one of the hints I um, accidentally read ahead on on the Steam forums. Someone said it was a, um, it was a certain word backwards, and so I think that's Lin. Yeah, L Y N N, but backwards. So N N Y L. N N Y L. I'm a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created, 
because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient, ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by, because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence. Figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on Earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. secret compartment or something or you know perhaps it's something upstairs I think it is something upstairs actually yeah there's a little indentation in the wall upstairs I think kind of above the button let's go check it Yeah, it opened this up, didn't it? Those are finger bones. I guess that's the name of the game. But why are there finger bones back there? The cellar is freedom. So that means the final password is, what, freedom or finger bones? It's freedom. Jesus. Well, that set my hair on end. I don't even want to stop to read this note. Okay, let's let's read it. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Okay, so we know he murdered her. Possibly ate her. Since he was running out of food, it wouldn't surprise me. And it also sounds like he raped her. Seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers. My anti-religious artifacts. My testaments to moral and intellectual freedom. Are locked in the safe upstairs. I'm content to the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong.
father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Okay. The game is, has truly closed down now. Um. I don't know what to say about that, really. Um, I mean, I knew it was going to be dark. It was a psychological horror game, and you could tell it was something dark as soon as the cellar was mentioned, I think. And about feeling excitement in the cellar. But I didn't realize it'd be about a basically a psychopath who, at the end of society, you know, at, at the end of civilized society, after the world's ended, this psychopath wasn't tethered down by any laws or any expectations from society anymore, and so he... He did what he naturally wanted to do and what was inside of him the entire time, but was being restrained, basically. He was freed. Freed to be his fucked up self. And uh, apparently not just murder his daughter, and not just rape her. He, it seems like he did rape her. And it seems like he didn't just straight up murder her, but actually tortured her to death? I think he tortured her to death, because he mentioned that she died, whether from dehydration or blood loss. And if you think she might have died from blood loss, and that means she was wounded, but obviously he didn't try to actually completely kill her, so it sounds like he tortured her, I guess? And those implements on the table seemed very, very much meant for torture, not for a, a swift, you know, mercy kill or whatever. Yeah, so Psychopath, at the end of the world, is unleashed and rapes and tortures his daughter to death. Not exactly the most cheery of games. Yeah, I, d I don't really know what else to say. Uh, thanks for watching. It seems inappropriate after all that. Um, I hope nobody was too traumatized. And, uh... Yeah, that that has been that has been finger bones.